Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mac TV. Today, I would like to share how to evaluate this limit without using Lobitus rule. We know that tangent x is also equal to sine x over cos x. Let's rewrite the function. Next, I'm going to factorize sine x. So we should have sine x multiplying 1 over cos x minus 1 and the whole thing divided by x cubed. By using the properties of a limit, we could rewrite the limit as x approaches 0 for the function sine x divided by x multiply the limit x approaches 0 for the function 1 over cos x minus 1 divided by x squared. As we learn, the limit for the function sine x over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1 in the previous video. Then the limit can be further simplified as x approaches 0. Let's rewrite the function. We should have 1 minus cos x divided divided by x squared multiply cos x. Then I'm going to apply the conjugate for the numerator, which is 1 plus cos x. Of course, we could not simply multiply something to the numerator. This, we have to multiply exactly the same thing to the denominator. Let's expand it and we should obtain the limit when x approaches 0 for the function 1 minus cos squared x over x squared multiply cos x multiply multiply 1 plus cos x. Recall that 1 minus cos squared x is simply sine squared x. Next, let's rewrite the limit again by using properties of a limit. We should have sine squared x over x squared multiply the limit x approaches 0 for the function 1 over cos x multiply 1 plus cos x. Next, I'm going to rewrite the limit by using properties of a limit. Recall that the limit of the square of the function is simply equal to the square of the limit of the function. And we multiply the next component. I'm going to substitute when x is equal to 0. So we should have cos 0 multiply 1 plus cos 0. This we should have 1 square multiply 1 over 1 multiply 1 plus 1. And this is equal to 1 multiply 1 over 1 multiply 2 which is simply 1 over 2. And hence, we're done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.